uh, I paid £25 for it, which is quite pricey. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, I went to a car boot yesterday. Um, also went to a few charity shops on the way back from the car boot. Um, and the bits I picked up, I actually spent a lot more in the charity shops than I did, mostly on one item, which I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But I'm gonna do this in two parts. So I'll show you the pickups from the car boot first, tell you how much I paid, um, put some pictures up, to show you roughly. There's a few fails. Um, as ever with these car boots, um, I tend to just get stuff on a whim and sort of hope for the best for a lot of it. Um, it's quite difficult to sort of look everything up while you're there, so I, I don't. Um, but I don't spend a lot on them either, so uh, yeah. Uh, and the charity shop bits I will do afterwards. Right, here we go. So... Glance around. There's quite. It's quite golf heavy, which is quite good. Um, so hopefully that will go. They'll go quite uh, quickly because it's the golf season. Weather's getting nicer. Um, so yeah, let's start with these. So Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur, which I paid a pound for. Don't know if it's all there. The dinosaurs in there. There was there was loads of bits. The box is a bit damaged, but um, yeah, for a pound. Um, weirdly, I saw. Um, Ian Master of Pieces picked one of those up the other day and I remember thinking, oh, I haven't seen, I've never seen that. I mean, there it is. So yeah, good pick up for a pound. Um, this is a Playmobil advent calendar. Um, in the actual box, there's no bits in there. It's just the, there's like a scene, a cardboard to a cutout scene thing, which I don't know if it's worth anything, but the bits here. Um, so that was, I paid £4 for that, which I don't know if it's worth it, but it was at the same time I got that, so I just kind of grabbed it. Um, I'll probably wait till nearer Christmas and uh, see how that does. It should do it a bit better. Um, what else did I pick up at the same time? I can't remember. Oh, got this at the same time as well. The Schleich, uh Cannon. I can only see a couple that have been sold as new. This is obviously in the box, but it's not new. It's it's uh, not fixed in at all. Um, so yeah, that was, I think I paid two or three for that. Um, I think it was three actually, which seemed pricey, but at the same time it's box and it's like, and I figured if it was in a charity shop, I would happily pay three quid for it. So yeah, not bad. Um, a gonzo that was a pound um some trainers they're i think they're four and a half I think they are five and a half um some black shell ones and i got these at the same time which are converse i don't usually get converse but these are white leather ones which i thought would worth be worth a bit more but i don't think they are but never mind um so i paid 11 pound for the two pairs so my money's safe but um yeah i don't know if there's huge amounts of profit in it um don't get in a flap which is an old mb games game which i'd never heard of um as far as i can see there was bits in there i didn't count at all but that was two pound um so yeah i always like to get old mb game ones they all seem to do a bit better than others and that one i've not heard of so i actually looked that up while i was there um, and then went back and got it. Um, some more Playmobil. I seem to be picking up a few more Playmobil bits recently. Uh, this is £2. Uh, pirate ship. Um, I'm not sure what the bits are in there, but I thought £2 makes a nice little scene. I don't know if it'll be worth anything. Um, these are some vinyl I picked up. Did nothing amazing. They were 50p each, so I kind of a couple which I know I've I've sold before. Um, this I simply read. I just sort of thought it looked quite cool. Um, Simple Minds, which I thought was an album, but it's actually a single. Still, I think my money's safe. Uh, Sound of Music. I've, I've got so many of these that I've, I've picked them up as and when I see it. Um, this one, I think when I looked, is a mono and there's a stereo version. I think the mono one seems to do a bit better, so that's why I thought I'd get it, just to sort of test the water. Uh, Carpenters, I've got 
another one. I think I've got three of these now, but I've sold quite a few of them. They only sell for a 10 over three postage, so not not huge profits, but they seem to be quite a steady seller for me. Um, and a Chaz and Dave Jamboree bag number three. I've sold that before. They do one, two, and three, and I've sold them. I sold two and three together, and I think I've sold one and two together. So always get them to bundle up. And for that, um, I'll go through the big, the plush. Well, they're plush. They're both hot water bottle covers. I thought Gromit was worth a bit more. His eyes are a bit yellow. Poor guy. Uh, I don't know um, if there's um, anything I can do about that, to be honest. But yeah. And again, that's not as. I didn't think. Well, I thought they went for a lot more. Same with Taz. I thought it would be quite popular. It was from the late 90s. I think that was a Boots one. Um, there's a few listed. I can't see any that was old. So yeah, a bit of a fail. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I just price it a bit lower than everyone else's and try and get rid of it. I only paid a pound for him, and I think it was he was two pound. And then some golf stuff. I've got a tailor-made hat, which is Adidas. They're not really worth too too much. Um, but I picked it up at the same time as uh, these. So this is an Adidas. Can open it one handed. Adidas zip up. Or a quarter zip, I think it is. Quarter zip. Uh, I don't think it's not vintage or anything. Um, but yeah, it's Adidas. Actually, Adidas golf. Um, say it's white and the sea, it's golf season, so that should do okay. I think I paid three for that, I think it was. Um, and this was the same. This is Nike Golf. Um, it's just grey with a bit of black. Or like a bluey grey, I suppose. Maybe more grey. Um, yeah, and that was £3 as well, so that's good. Um, this is uh, Dry Joys by Fuchs Joy. Um, it's like a little golf coat. Like a little stubby armed thing. Uh, that was three pounds as well from someone else. Uh, and then I got this, which um, what make was it? Ping. That was it. Ping for yeah, three pound. Quite a cool golfy pattern with a quarter zip. Uh, again. So yeah, the pickups were okay. Um, um, yeah, I'll go through the charity shop bits I picked up now. So you've got a couple of bags for these. I'll go through these first because they're right there. Um, so it's not Le Crusade, I'm not cool so how do you pronounce it, but it's um have a look. Uh, yeah it's cast iron. So there's a yellow one, a brown one, the same make I can't remember right now. It is Cousances? Cousance? Made in France. That's a 22, and I think the brown one was a 24. That one is cleanish, the brown one's a lot dirtier. Um, but this one's got chips on it. So that was a fiver. I had a quick look while I was in there. I should go for 30 odd quid, so hopefully. Um, so yeah, it's quite good. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so that was six for that one, so £11 all in. That one just needs a wash. But this one's oh, dirty inside. Um, I'm sure it can be cleaned. If anyone's got any tips on how to clean these, please let me know, because I've not had much experience with them. But yeah, shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Um, and then we won't go on to this one. Uh, I'll come back to that. Oh, actually, this. Oh, there was a few bits in here which we're actually from the car boot, so that was a rubbish pickup from the car boot. Paid a pound for, brand new and sealed, worth hardly anything. <laughs> um, got a couple of lightsabers from different places, paid a pound, that's a blue flick out one. Um, and I got a green flick out one as well. So they should do all right. Um, and then this, this is all the rest of the charity shop stuff. So, a couple of tennis rackets. This, the handle is completely 
buggered the um, actual wrap. Um, but it's a Wilson, all looks quite nice inside. Um, that was a pound. Again, tennis season, so I just think it's good to try these things. That is a Prince one, which I can't tell if it's like a short one or what, but again, for a pound, thought I'd try it. It's quite lightweight and I think Prince ones, I think, do okay, but who knows? Um, I got, go through these, I've got some Harry Potter Blu-rays. Um, it's almost the whole set. It seems to be missing Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, but yeah, they were three for a pound. So I got those four. Um, and then I picked up Christmas Vacation because it's the best Christmas film. And it's new and sealed. So that will do all right Christmas. And a wee fit just to go with a, a bundle at some point. Um, spot the intro, which is used, but... Um, looks like it does all right on amazon so yeah i'll probably get that sent off to amazon if it's all there this was a bit of a random one um it's a statler mars super bow um it's it's a like um, it's not a compass as such it's some kind of measuring instrument i think um i can't remember what for but yeah that was a pound it goes a large letter as well which i found quite appealing um yeah, that I think goes about twelve pounds, something like that. Um, and then a couple of bits of clothing. This is Timberwolves um, basketball. I think it's a kid size. Uh, that's a thing. It's um, uh, well, it says L fourteen to sixteen, so maybe that's ladies fourteen to sixteen, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, the tag inside has been cut out, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they should should be. It was only a pound, so it should be right. And this was Ayacucho, which if you remember back a few videos ago, I bought up a coat which was Ayacucho. Um, still haven't sold it, but <laughs> that was a pound for a little fleece, sort of lightweight fleece, which seems quite good. And then yes, and then my biggest expense that back in there was this. At first glance, I was like, what is this? It's obviously a knockoff. It can't be real. It's a Levi's. Well, the tag, start off with, it's a Levi's tag. And I was like, well, that's upside down. What's that doing? Then realise it's Stranger and Levi's and Stranger Things. So I was like, oh, that's probably why it's upside down. But there's all these cool pictures of all the characters uh, all around it. It's a very unusual. <laughs> um, yeah, I, newer tags as well. Brand new. Um, size medium, so it's a decent size as well. I don't think it's got an original price on it. Uh, I paid £25 for it, which is quite pricey. I looked on eBay um, and the price is, well, there's one that's was up for 160 and sold on offers. Uh, I'll put a picture in to show that one. But then there's also two listings currently um, and they've got them as £44 with free postage. So, um, I don't know what it's really worth. It's probably not worth that much, but then with the new series coming out later this year, um, it might be it might go up in value if the other ones get sold out. If it might go for hundred pound. Who knows? But yeah, I just thought it was really cool and really unusual, and didn't realise that that Strange Things and Levi's had teamed up. Even the uh, the tag on there is upside down that side, and normal side, and normal the other side. So yeah, really cool. And a bit pricier than I'd usually spend for stuff, but I just figured, why not? So yeah, there we go. That's That was my pickups from this week. So I need to get, uh, from this weekend, need to get listing some stuff because I've got a lot to get listed. I've been, I feel like I've been listing so much this week, but I haven't sold anything. Um, 
not of anything to note anyway. Um, sales have been pretty dire. Uh, but yeah, I'll just keep listing, keep going with it. And I'm sure at some point it will kick in and I'll have a crazy day. Um, and then it will die down again and then the, the cycle continues. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, next videos, I get my note. I'm getting a uh, GoPro. So my GoPro is due to be delivered tomorrow, I think. Uh, so yeah, that hopefully will mean I can do some videos on a mountain about. So when I'm charity shop shopping or car boots, jumble sales, all that kind of stuff. Try and I'm going to try and keep them short-ish. This one's probably going to be long. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.